Hi, this is Gary Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling worthwhile because today our quote of the day is all about living a worthwhile life and it goes like this. Life is worthwhile when you walk on a path aligned to your purpose. By Gift Gugamona. For a life to feel worthwhile for you, you do not need to have much, but you do need to give much. No matter how many riches you have, no matter how good your friendships or relationships are, and no matter how big your house is, and no matter what schools you went to, these will not make you feel that your life was worthwhile. The only way to feel as if you have accomplished much is by serving other people and by doing good. You will see many people in old age suddenly volunteering for different charities because they feel that they did not do enough for this world, so they want to make up for it. Life must have meaning to feel worthwhile, and life can only have meaning when you are influencing other people's lives. When you make a difference for other people and make their life better, happier, and fuller, then you yourself will feel full, then you know that you are living a worthwhile life. It is really not difficult to lead a worthwhile life. All you have to do is to find something that you enjoy doing for other people and do it. Be it as an entertainer, an artist, a researcher, a writer, a teacher, a lawyer, anything really. The list is endless, but you must enjoy the process or else your life may seem worthwhile for other people perhaps, but it will not feel as if it was worthwhile for you. One of the smartest men ever to have lived, Albert Einstein, said that only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. So how do you live a life for others in a way that will give you joy? Well, first of all, you want to go through life experiences and then learn from these experiences and also learn from other people's experiences and keep learning and growing throughout your life so that you will always have to give from your wisdom to other people who have less experience and knowledge in this particular field than you do. And learn more about you also. This is very important. Recognize your own limiting beliefs and then master. learn to master your mind so that it works for you and not against you. It is your mindset that can lead you to a life of joyful experiences or to a life of ongoing struggle. Forget victimhood or heroism. You're not here to be less than or better than anybody else. You are here to be you and to serve your highest potential. There will always be people who will need your gifts in this world. Trust in yourself and follow the voice of your intuition. The next step to feeling as you are, that you are living a life worthwhile is to make sure that you have put in your best effort in all that you do. All people who have lived a worthwhile life have really given it their all. They went all in. They did their best and they gave their best. If you are not giving your best and not, uh, and not doing uh, the best that you can at your job or at anything, then how do you think you will truly feel about your life? You know the truth about your actions and you know if you gave it your all or if you were lazy or scared and hindered uh, what you could have done. It is only you who can know whether you gave it all or not. Only you know if you did what you could have done under the circumstances that you were in or not. In all honesty, life will feel worthwhile even if you did your best only 60% of the time. Then you, will still feel, then you will still feel that you have done good in this world. So stop trying to be good at everything. There is no need to run after more and more and more achievements. This will only leave you feeling empty. Focus on progress. Do, don't do the things just for the sake of doing more to validate your worth and to feel that you've earned the approval of others. You don't need it. In order to uh, live in the present moment, you must enjoy what you are doing. And when you enjoy what you are doing, then love will, throw, will flow through you, affecting you and everyone around you in a positive way. This is a worthwhile life. Of course, you do not need to feel accepted by everyone, but you do need to follow your purpose and to spread your gifts to the world from a place of love. Understand that the happier you get, the more you will achieve, and also the happier 
you get, the more you can spread positivity in the world, which will make you feel that your life was worthwhile. The next step towards feeling that you are living a worthwhile life is to go after your dreams. You will not feel that your life was worthwhile if you did not even try to go after your dreams. There are things that you may succeed in and there are other things that you may not succeed with. But it is the fact that you tried to go after your dreams and you did your best that will make your life feel that it was worthwhile. Even if you did not get everything that you desired, but you tried, that is the most important thing. But when you blame other people or give excuses and complain about you not reaching your goals and dreams without putting in the effort, then you are giving your power away, the power that you have to change your life. Another important factor for feeling that your life was worthwhile is completing what you start. If you start something and complete the task, that you, then you will feel that you have achieved something that you wished to achieve. You have made an important accomplishment and you have made progress and you have become wiser. You can now use this new uh, wisdom to help or give it to other people who have less knowledge, experience and wisdom than you do on this particular subject. Jim Rohn said that there is no point in building one foundation after another without building the rest of the house. So go out and complete any task that you still find worthy enough of your accomplishment. Only through the things that you will finish and go all the way with will you feel that you did your best and you will feel that your life is worthwhile. It is easy to stop in the middle when things get a little bit tough, but how will you really feel after you quit? How would Barack Obama have felt if he did not go all the way to become the President of the United States? And also, how would Donald Trump have felt if he did not go through with it all the way to becoming the President of the United States? These people went all the way. They did their best and they tried to get as far as they could. And because they tried, they succeeded to reach as far as they could. So never stop trying. If you stop trying to do your best in any field, then you will feel that life is meaningless. You may feel stagnant, depressed, or overwhelmed. Life can feel very confusing at these times. And during such times, it is good to review your goals and your desires to make sure that you are still doing what you need and want to be doing to get you towards the life that you desire. Work towards something meaningful for you. Be creative. You will not feel that your life is worthwhile when you follow through with all of your duties all of the time and do not use your imagination and creativity to create the life of your dreams. I remember once hearing a story of a man who died and was there at the entrance to heaven, which was blocked by three judges. He told them that he was a very good man and fulfilled all of his duties. He was always honest and faithful and he never hurt another soul and that he should be granted entrance to heaven. And they said that they saw that this was true. But then they asked him, but what about all those books that you were supposed to write? And what about all the people that you were supposed to influence and help those people? And what about the care that you were supposed to give so many other people? He said that he did not do those things so that he can perform his duties. And then they sent him back down for another round at life. This story shows that our life will not really feel worthwhile if we only fulfill our duties and do what we are told to do. This will only lead you to feel disconnected from your true self. Yes, there will be setbacks and unexpected events on the way. See these as learning opportunities and design a new path towards your goals. But stick with your goals that you believe are worthwhile of you achieving. The next step towards living a life that is worthwhile for you, you must be mindful enough about your life to make the effort to succeed so that you can give back to the world. You must care for your own life and for the life of others and when you care, you will persist and when you persist, you will feel satisfied. Your life will not be considered as worthwhile by you through the results that you have achieved or by your bank balance, but rather by the effort that you put into reaching your goals and the people that you served. When you feel satisfaction in your effort and in your goodwill, then you will know that your life was worthwhile. You have to follow your heart and do what you love so that you can serve others in an almost effortless way. Gandhi said that satisfaction is in the effort, not in the attainment. So full effort equals full uh, success. 
The results don't matter. When you give your best and you try to do your best and you try to fulfill your desires and you do so until the end, or at least you try to do so until the end, then you will feel that your life was worthwhile. As I said in a previous video, when you are selfishly attached to results that you desire, you become their prisoner. Don't worry about the outcome. For life to be worthwhile, the results in your eyes don't really matter. It is what you gave to others through inspiration, ideas, love, and understanding that will stay with them and transform their lives and will make you comprehend how worthwhile your life really was. So learn to love yourself and understand your value and your unique gifts and all that you can offer and then use your heart to be of service to the others who need you, who have less experience and less knowledge in specific areas that can use your help. And the last step to feel that your life was worthwhile is to be around those who will make you better and not those who will bring you down. There are people who you cannot remove from your life and you may not even want to remove these people from your life, but perhaps their unhealthy mindset can have a very negative influence on you. So you want to keep these people at a healthy distance from you. Others you may want to keep closer to you because they help support and push you forwards. You know which people are stealing away your power and who are empowering you. Encircle yourself with people who appreciate you and your gifts. Think about Jesus Christ. Before he, he was crucified, he only had a few followers, followers around him that really believed in him. You only need a few people who believe in you and support you and your gifts and help you spread the love that is within you to spread. So learn and give of your gifts and enjoy your life and it will feel worthwhile to you and to everybody around you. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, am I learning? Am I trying? And am I doing my best in the things that I do? And am I completing what I start? Am I going after my dreams? And am I giving my gifts to society? If yes, if your answer is yes, then great. But if not, then ask yourself what is holding you back. Is it the people around you or perhaps your mindset? Improve yourself and move your life towards the life of your dreams. This is what you deserve and everyone around you deserves this too. This will make your life feel as if it was worthwhile. So as usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you are moving your life in the right direction for you. To finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I was made with divine intention and I will use my gifts to make my life worthwhile. I was made with divine intention and I will use my gifts to make my life worthwhile. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So thank you very much for joining. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.